New this morning, we are talking tensions brewing between the city of Charlotte and officials with Lime Bike. We told you earlier this week about Lime Bike rolling out some electric scooters here in the Queen City. But just a day later, the city pulled them from the streets because apparently they were never approved. And the Charlotte Observer reporting now that the scooters must be gone by today. NBC Charlotte's Ariel Placencia now live in South End and Ariel. I mean, scooters are pretty popular. Who doesn't like a scooter? I mean, scooters, scooters sco are fun. Scooters are fun, but it seems not everybody is happy with the way this program has been rolled out. That's right. Who knew scooters could stir up so much controversy, but they are right here in the Queen City. Now, I want to tell you about an experience I just had. An employee with Lime Bike just pulled up in a van, and I thought he was coming to take these guys away, but he got out. He went to each of these four scooters, inspected them, recharged the batteries, and I said, hey, don't these have to be off the streets here in the Queen City by the end of the day? He looked at me and said, no comment, but I'll tell you who is commenting this morning. That's Charlotte City Council. Charlotte City Councilman Tariq Scott Bakari taking to Facebook, saying he is supportive of the, quote, very cool scooters, but points out the company behind them didn't follow protocol. Hey, Lime Bike, Bakari writes, the next time you rally our city to send hundreds of template emails jamming up my city account to express support, why not tell them the whole story? Bakari's post says Lime Bike didn't follow the pilot permit protocol, something the company has allegedly been fined for in the past. Despite that, can't miss these scooters spread out across the city. Lime Bike came by and asked us if we were open to having their scooters here, and we said absolutely. This week, the city releasing a statement saying, quote, Moving forward, the city of Charlotte is communicating with scooter sharing companies to evaluate options and establish safety guidelines. And also, if you go on Twitter, the mayor pro temp weighing in, Julie Eisold saying that the city servers were also jammed with hundreds of messages from the scooter supporters. She called it, quote, spam. Now, you just heard the city of Charlotte, though, releasing that statement that they're open to talking to other scooter and bike sharing companies. In fact, we've heard gotten word that a second scooter sharing company is interested in coming here. I'll explain in 30 minutes. Live from NBC Charlotte, I'm Ariel Placencia, Ben and Carolyn. I'll send it back to you. Ariel Placencia with a scoop directly from the Lime Bike themselves. Scooter scoop, fighting wow. words, it's, no comment. It seems like they're not budging on this one. This could get more interesting. Maybe the scooters will remain. All right.